thing is next um, part of the session will be about accounting for purchases, sales invoices and VAT accounting. So let's start with purchases first, most common. You have to buy goods or services in order to run your business and you have to account for them properly. So that's one of the most fundamental accounting transactions, a purchase. This is when you buy goods or services from external vendors, from suppliers. How to properly account for a purchase invoice? First of all, you always have to keep a valid document backing up your purchase. So the valid document is a purchase invoice or a receipt that you are getting in a shop. A payment confirmation or a purchase order is not a valid document for a purchase transaction because you might have made a, an order, but that, it doesn't necessarily mean you completed the transaction, okay? So always keep an invoice or a receipt. Example of a purchase transaction, transaction of a proper accounting for a purchase transaction. You purchased office equipment for 200 euro. So the purchase transaction will go the first step. You will debit your expenses, office, office equipment, and you will credit your accounts payable, your liabilities, because you owe the money to the supplier, 200. The next step is you make the payment for this invoice, for this purchase. So you debit your accounts payable, your creditors, money due to suppliers, the, payment, the liability disappears, and you credit your cash account because the cash is going out of your account. It is decreasing your asset. So that's an example of proper accounting for a purchase invoice.